Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Virgos. Happy birthday to all my Virgos out there, by the way. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. And I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Virgos for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance, please, for my Virgos for their highest and greatest good. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo. This is your energy. Nice. How you're viewing your person, the Six of Swords. And you're viewing the connection as the Seven of Swords in reverse. So you're seeing very clearly that you're ready to move forward with this person. All right. They have made some sort of decision. They're showing up as the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, they're viewing you as the Star card, Aquarius energy. And they're viewing the connection as the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo. Okay, so they're seeing something solid, stable, secure here. What's going on between you two? It looks like you both are investing in this connection, Virgo. And we have the Nine of Wands. A lot of you, this is a past life connection. And we've got the Ace of Cups. Okay, Virgo, this is amazing energy. All right, and we have the strength card, Leo energy. So maybe this is somebody that you met in Leo season or things have really changed or developed for you in Leo season. I love this reading. I absolutely love this reading. I want you to know, Virgo, you're a tower moment for this person, but it feels like a very good tower moment, very unexpected. The Ace of Pentacles tells me this is your energy. You're ready to invest you're looking for something solid, stable, and secure, and you're sensing that with this person. <laughs> it's clarified by the world. I mean, seriously, I don't even want to continue this reading, Virgo. It's just so awesome. So the world card, so it's like you're closing out an, a cycle. You're ready to begin a new cycle. You're seeing success, a new chapter here with this person. You're viewing them as the Six of Swords. So what I love about this is this man and this woman are in this boat together. So it's like we're in the same boat. We've got each other's backs. We're protecting each other. We're moving forward into like a much, a, like a beautiful era or a new cycle in love, helping one another. Um, it's a very spiritual connection as well. I'm also seeing you and this person may do a lot of traveling together, like once you're well established, if you're not already. Yeah, and you're viewing this person as your three of pentacles. I mean, it's exactly what I've just said. This, you're compatible. You want the same things out of life. Um, you work together, you've got each other's backs. Like it's just beautiful, beautiful exchange here, Virgo. Now you're viewing the connection as the seven of swords in reverse, which takes me back to the six of swords. So this person or this connection feels like wish fulfillment. It feels like it's something that you've been waiting for. It brings you peace. It's like you're ready to put behind troubled waters and temperance energy. Yeah, this is a very spiritual connection, Sagittarius there. You may view your person as an earth angel or a lot of you, you're thanking, you know, your angels and your guides for bringing you and this person together. It absolutely feels like destiny. I love this particular temperance card. One black wing, one white wing. Yin and yang energy. So it's definitely strong soulmates here. It's absolutely beautiful energy. It's like you're seeing this as such a healing connection as well. Your person is showing up as the two of pentacles in reverse, which tells me they've already made up their mind. So they're also showing up as the ace of pentacles. They've made up their mind. They're investing in this Virgo. And we see the, the eight of cups here. Yeah, I feel like your person is choosing to walk away from someone or something to come towards you. I'm not really getting that it's a third party, though. I feel like this person's ready to move towards their ten of cups with you. There's a lot of love here, Virgo. A whole lot of love, I'll tell you that much. And they've made a decision to put something behind them so that they can have this future with you. Now, they are viewing you as Aquarius energy in reverse. So just be aware, Virgo. Sometimes, you know, Virgo energy, we don't wear our heart on our sleeves. And I say we because many of you already know I'm a Virgo rising. But 
It's like, just be aware that you're letting this person know how good you're feeling or what you're wanting from this connection. Um, you are a complete tower moment for this person and, and they might be a tower moment for you as well. Yeah, so they're seeing you as this air energy. Some of you could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius placements, but they're seeing you as somebody, they love talking to you is what I'm getting. They love your mind. Um, the Queen of Swords is also somebody who's quite put together. And I know my Virgos out there were, you know, are, you tend to be quite um, picky, not only about the way you present yourself, but whom you interact with, um, who you, you know, who you hook up with and things like that. And um, this person likes that about you. Like they like that, like you're honest, you're loyal, you're charming, you're diplomatic, you're well put together. So they, they like your attention to detail. They like the way you present yourself. Um, and they're viewing the connection as the queen of pentacles, which is they're seeing long term with you. They're seeing you as life partner material. Um, and we see the fool in reverse. Okay. So just be careful. Um, although I, I feel like you and this person are exactly on the same page, but there might be some fears that things are moving a little bit too quickly here, Virgo. So just keep that in mind. But I also feel like your person with the full energy feels like a kid again. You've made them feel like a teenager. You've made them feel good. You're making them feel impulsive. You're bringing that spontaneity back, passion as well. So we see the page of pentacles. This is what's happening between you. So this is, I feel two people looking at possibly spending a future together. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse, building something solid, stable, and secure. I also feel that you and this person have probably been single or been calling in incompatible partners for quite some time or lately <laughs> or in your recent past. And it's like the Five of Pentacles in reverse is my death do us part card. So for a lot of my Virgos, I am seeing marriage or life partner or long-term commitment here with this person. But it's like you're both coming out of the cold. Now, in the heart of the reading, we have the Nine of Wands, and I do feel for a lot of my Virgos, this is a strong indication that you do have some sort of past life soulmate tie. I also feel like she's in a really protective energy, so I kind of feel like the Nine of Wands is two people that want to protect each other and really want to protect the connection, okay? And we see the Tower in reverse, yeah. All right, so the Tower in reverse can be just avoiding disaster, um, but you know what I'm kind of getting? It's like this Aries Scorpio energy. I'm not really seeing it as a bad thing. I mean, there may be somebody here that one or both of you that may still need to let down their guard because of what you've been through in the past or because you've experienced a lot of heartache and disappointment, but I'm just kind of not getting that. I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like you've learned some really tough karmic lessons, you and this person and what it takes and what you need to really protect this relationship, protect the relationship bubble that you have to protect one another. And you, it's like you've, you've learned how to avoid disaster here. And we have the Ace of Cups. This is a beautiful opening of the heart chakra and it's clarified by the star card, Aquarius energy. This past full moon in Aquarius may have some importance to some of my Virgos here, but we also have the Leo Aquarius axis. So one or both of you could have a North node or South node in one of those signs, but it's a strong indication for me as a reader that you two are really meant for each other, that you're destined to be together. And the star card tells me this is a healing connection. This is wish fulfillment. Now we have the 10 of cups in reverse, which takes me to the nine of cups, which is absolutely, it is wish fulfillment. But I, I don't feel for a lot of you, this is a reconciliation. For a lot of you, I'm feeling like it's something new, although it certainly is possible. And I do feel too, it's like your person, they might have gotten out of a long-term connection or just experienced some heartache and some loss before you come together. But Virgo, I mean, I have nothing bad to say here. All right, so let's see what advice or what messages come through for you. First, we'll take a look at your energy. What do my Virgos need to know? Some of you, this might be a connection where you started out as friends and it becomes more. Um, I think a lot of you, this is definitely something that's gonna make you feel uplifted. But I love this energy of being like friends, best friends and lovers here, Virgo. And that's kind of what I'm getting from this card. I see you two, you know, like, you know, really enjoying your mornings together, making coffee or tea. Um, you know, if somebody gets up way earlier than the other one, like I feel like the other person would get up and like, you know, help that person get ready or prepare the coffee or whatever or breakfast. It's just a really sweet symbiotic energy I'm getting from you two. And Virgo, this is a healing connection. I feel like this is exactly what you've been waiting for. All right. <clears throat> and your person is looking at long term. They may end up popping the question or they may be proposing marriage at some point in time, Virgo. It's exactly what I'm seeing here. 
and the Phoenix. For some of you, it may be a renewal, but for a lot of my Virgos here, it's just this beautiful transformation that's taking place in your life. And all I can say is you absolutely deserve it. Now, somebody here may have experienced betrayal um, in the past or some sort of third party interference, but I feel like that's the lessons or those are the lessons that needed to be learned so that you and this person know now how to avoid like one to spot red flags, but I'm not really seeing red flags here in this relationship. More so I'm seeing you're, you've learned what it takes to really protect a relationship and have that open communication and not really let any sort of interference um, mess with the connection. I feel like this is more like past karmic lessons. I feel like also my Virgos here, you know, there's this attraction, there's this flirting, there's this dating, there's this fun and lighthearted energy here, um, despite you know, despite, you know, having learned tough karmic lessons, but I feel like that's separately. Now, obviously for some of you, it could be, you know, it could be, um, you know, something that's happened between the two of you, if it is a reconciliation energy for you. But I also feel like I said, the lessons here have learned, have been learned, have to protect the relationship and not let anybody or anything interfere. Like, I feel like you and this person are going to be so, so much so on the same page that like, if you're, if your schedules get in the way, you know, or if like other people are like trying to interfere in the connection, I feel like both of you have learned what it is you, you will, what you need to talk about. Okay. If that makes sense. I love this energy for you. So your person wants you to know that you make me want to be a better person. I'm inspired to improve myself. So they admire you and it's hard for me to let go. Your person is in that eight of cups energy. So there's something that they need to let go of. I don't feel like it's another connection. It could be some fear-based energy. It could be some ego energy that's like keeping them kind of protected, but I definitely see this healing and opening of the heart chakra. So if that, if you are experiencing that, it's not going to be for very long. And we see sacrifice. You are asking me to let go of what is familiar in my life. That's difficult for me. For some of you, this person is going to move towards you. Okay. They may move, um, you know, they may, maybe you're in a different city, state, or country. For some of you, you know, they they might be changing a whole lot about themselves, but it, I don't feel like it's in a negative way. Like you have to change or they have to change in order for you to be together. But I just feel like this is a completely new cycle. And, and I do feel there may be trust issues from the past and it may be hard to let go of, right? But it feels like that you can be honest and true with this person. All right. So spirit saying an addiction uh, is affecting this relationship. It's coming out twice, so it does have to be addressed. There may be something that maybe your person or maybe you, Virgo, have some unhealthy habits that like, I feel like you two are going to really help each other break. Okay. And we see go slow. Yeah. But I feel like you're on the same page. Again, you might be dealing with somebody who is a Virgo themselves or has other Virgo placements, but you just get each other on that deep level. Like there's no need to rush, even though I feel like it is going to move quite quickly between the two of you. And you definitely have a lot to teach each other and to learn from each other. And I just love that energy. Like they're in your life for a reason to teach you a spiritual lesson, but you are as well. Like this is, this is one of these, this is to me, Virgo, this feels like karmic justice. It feels like it's a long time coming. And for those of you who are resonating with this reading, congratulations, because this is your person. And for those of you who don't know, you know, who I'm talking about, your person is on their way. All right, so let's see what uh, advice spirit has for my Virgos. Okay, grounding. So stay grounded, go deep, explore your roots. Again, I feel really strong earth energy between the two of you. Um, rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. Yeah, a healing connection Virgo is on its way in. And we also get staying focused, hold the course. So don't stop doing what you're doing here, Virgo. You two, this is somebody who's going to build you up. You have each other's backs. This is like your ride or die, but it's like so peaceful feeling. And it's a voyage of the heart, Virgo. Love flows through you and to you. So get ready. Major heart chakra opening. Virgos, I love you so much. I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Virgos. Take care.